hello my people how are you doing good morning good afternoon good evening from wherever you're watching me welcome to another interesting edition of no host bad with it my name is itinu i want to uh say happy star once again today is um easter monday god bless all of you my subscribers and those who are here to subscribe what are you waiting for thanks so much for all your uh, messages all your thoughts your insight those who have sent me personal emails you remember i replied all of them thank you so much god bless you so before we move on kindly subscribe to this channel i will keep on saying it all right i need you to be in this family all right let's go welcome back and thanks so much so uh god works in a mysterious way yeah uh i said in a video i did last week one of my videos that i'm uh i'm begin to see that god wants to use osinachi uh case in a unique way and i begin to wonder this lady is unique she was unique uh maybe um <laughs> maybe i'm i would do a videos a separate video on her uh, uniqueness she just, she was special um pastor paul in nature but I, I don't think he envisaged he didn't imagine that we would be where we are now he didn't imagine that a media like bbc uh igbo we actually conduct an interview with the family of Osinachi. Mm, he didn't envisage that. And that interview had brought out a lot of things. Remember, he said he didn't know anything about what she was going through. So that interview had proved contrary. And uh, today I'm going to be bringing out punches. I'm going to be punching holes in um, Pastor Inenche's claim. Uh, so, um, <laughs> like I told you, I, this lady is unique. That interview has been translated mm -hmm, into different languages, specifically to a uh, unit was conducted in Igbo. It has been translated to English. It has been translated to Yoruba. I translated it to Yoruba to so remember. I told you my mom is Igbo. My mom is from Anambra State, from Oba. So I translated that uh, that interview to Yoruba. I have another channel, Yoruba channel, where I talk about the culture and the language. So I'm going to put a link to that channel here so that you can check it out. That translation of interview, uh, BBC interview with Osinachi's uh, family, is already on that channel i'll put the link so that you can check it in case you want to you want to learn so you remember <laughs> and i want you to follow me too on that channel thank you so um yeah god works in a mysterious way in that interview mama said my mom that's osinatri's mother she said when she wanted to when she was when she felt sick and she called her daughter she called osinatri Osinachi begged Peter, her husband, to allow her mother to come to Abuja, the woman resides in Enugu, to come to Abuja for treatment. Peter refused. So, my, according to my mama, mama, they, 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 these people cannot, cannot put up stories. Mama said, Osinachi called uh, Mama Neche. Mrs. Neche, that is Pastor Neche's wife, called her to help her beg her husband so that she, Mama, can come to Abuja. Uh, Pastor Becky Neche did that. She called Peter, she spoke with Peter, and Peter agreed. Mama said when she got to Abuja, she apparently went with her, her baby, her, her son, which uh, is the only male they have, the last born, Osinachi's junior brother. I think that was what infuriated Peter. 
so when she when they got there she said he said no that they can't stay in his house that amarachi now that is um osinachi's uh, twin sister had to call a delta woman she didn't mention the name of that delta woman so and it was in that delta woman's house she was for two months she was there while she you know went for her medical treatment one two uh our, our elder sister said when uh osinachi had a second baby the baby was three months old when she called home that peter wanted to kill her and her children so her elder sister went to abuja and brought her to enugu she was in enugu for over one year the question is you know i did a video i asked about pastor tony pastor tony came and one other person which the sister did not mention his name but she knew that she knew a pastor tony came from abuja to enugu to appeal to the family so that they can release osinachi for uh, uh, her husband again which they did now i'm not even going to talk about pastor tony now the question i'm raising to pastor Eneche here is that when amara uh, when osinachi was out of abuja for over a year didn't you ask after her yeah this is a woman who wasn't uh i said it in my other videos that she wasn't a floor member she was a key uh member in that ministry she was a gift really and um a, a viewer of my roots if i had to paint that comment she raised the same thing that she raised another another thing she said all the time that osina she was having children didn't she do daddy baby dedication in the church uh didn't uh so why would the, ch the uh, pastor and his wife not uh, ask about her mother okay so when she was away for one year uh over a year did pastor Nietzsche not ask about her and i can i see that this kind of a personality that's osinache was someone who pastor or pastor's wife will visit at home when she delivers yes because she wasn't uh, a, like i said she wasn't just a floor member so each time she delivered when you visit her didn't you ask about her mom uh, didn't you ask about any member of her family yeah and again a twin sister amara she said in that interview that she she, she had gone for uh the convention of um Unamis church about two times and she narrated her ordeal you know each time she went she wasn't allowed to come to the house of osina china husband and all that and all that then she mentioned names of people who who were privy who were who had knowledge about uh what was happening the day her she and her sister had to sing and um peter got wind of it and picked osinachi and went and lock lock her up the day he wasn't privy to their singing together and they sang together I can imagine the beating Osinachi will uh, receive that day because Peter will take it that she disobeyed him. And at that time, they went for another uh, another meeting in Lagos, and this man did not allow her and her sister to even sit together. Osinachi was sitting far away; she was sitting. They were just looking at each other from a distance. So in all of this, <laughs> Pastor Nature is saying he wants the us to believe that he was um, uh, he wasn't aware. He was deaf to everything around her, him. That's why I query his relationship with his members. Although I didn't believe, like a lot of people too didn't believe that he didn't know anything. And that speech he gave. 
I saw he, he was just throwing out uh, medical jargons, uh, this, that, that. It's, that speech wasn't, it was just to clean himself. It was just to exonerate himself. That speech wasn't even about Osinach. It was just to exonerate himself. Uh, I said it in my in past videos. He, why, why did he, why did he wanted to go legal? Mm -hmm. When this thing happened, actually he spoke because there were a lot of noise. I said it to last week. There were a lot of noise on the social media that he wasn't saying anything. And honestly, Pastor Ineche will have saved himself a lot of a lot of uh, embarrassment if he had said something when that lady died. Uh, Pastor Funke Adejumo, I, I I made the video too. Maybe I put the link here too. She, uh, when I saw the video, there was there was a program she was. I think it was Ghana or Cameroon because she, I, I was, I think I was initially when I saw that video, this, it was the very day Sinachi died. I thought it was, he was, he was talking about marriage. So I thought it was actually it, the title of that uh, message. I think it was, uh, it was a kind of seminar, uh, signs of a broken leadership, something like that. So when I first saw it, I said, oh my goodness, uh, this, 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 is, this was apt. She was talking about uh, marriages and uh, marriage and all that. It was later into the, into the program, because I watched it, that I saw that she was even outside Nigeria because she began to talk, uh, talk about uh, Banku. And I think it is Banku, they eat, it is a uh, Ghana, they eat Banku, I, I mean, like that, Cameroon, Ghana. That same day, after that program, this when this news you know broke out to the entire world, she went on her Instagram page. I posted on it. That was the person who was in she wasn't a, a member, but you that you are. She was a lead singer in your church. Didn't see anything. It was after a lot of noise were made on the social media that he came out to defend himself. So these are the holes in his defense. Why did you go legal? Like I asked, first he put up his uh, baby lawyer, do their daughter, to say something on the Instagram page. That didn't sell. Then, a Dunamis lawyer said he hasn't been briefed. I said it to last week. Why would you involve lawyer? Is is it that is it every day that um, that pastors involve lawyer? What did Pastor Inichi know? Is it that he was feeling that okay? He has done something wrong, so he needed a professional to really be out there for him. And that was why when his daughter came out and was talk and talked, and I said, if you needed somebody to clean up your image, you, you need to engage a, a PRO, a public relations officer, not, not a lawyer, because lawyers speak with both sides of their mouth, because that was exactly what that lady did, that girl did. Her father did not know. Her father tried to you know remove her from the situation what situation so these are the holes you know these are the there's a saying in my in my father's language if you know how to talk understand that some people know how to listen not everybody is dumb not everybody will buy anything that you throw out there so i have a lot of series in fact i've outlined some titles of, of videos i want to still drop on the nature yes because uh i'm interested in him because he's on the spotlight now and the only reason why i'm interested in him is that uh, because i don't talk about any pastor on my channel all those ones that are taught that have turned themselves to pastors i don't talk about them i'm talking about a nature because i expected him and his wife to know better to have done better I talked about Johnson Suleiman on my channel before. I'm still going to talk about him, even on this, on his reaction on this um, Osinachi's issue. I'm going to talk about it. The reason I'm just trying to let you know why I will choose not to talk about some pastors. It's not all pastors. All, like I said, all those towels that are calling themselves pastors, I don't talk about them. 
The reason again when I talked about John C. Suleiman was that I used to listen to him. Actually, John C. Suleiman made me to to know some background uh, stories to events in the Bible. He had the word until he began to tell stories on his pulpit. It was when, I've said it before on this channel, it was when Otobo's case happened that I, I began to lose interest in him. Actually, I've showed this Bible a lot of time on this channel. John C. Suleiman introduced me to this Bible. Mm -hmm. That's to show him that I know, I, I, I listened to him. He said in one message, if you don't have Dick annotated, your journey in Christ, in, as a Christian has not begun. And I went to look for this Bible. So, I talk about pastor that I'm disappointed in. The ones I, I thought should know better. The only reason why I talk about uh, um, uh, Omo Omoto, Jeremiah Omoto, was because uh, Ruth's baby, Ruth said her, her baby got missing in his church. It was because of that lady, that Ruth, not because of Omoto. I don't, I don't throw out videos to get views, no. I, I don't talk just about any any of them, all right? And when I saw the politics in Ruth's story, I withdrew. Because actually, I, I have a lot of things around me. I have a lot of things I'm doing. So I don't really have time to play politics with anybody's story. So I withdrew. And that's it. I stopped talking about her. So that's why, uh, Pastor Enenchi, I'm still going to drop more, 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 more videos on you because there are a lot of things that is out there that um that need to be addressed and people i'm going to put all the stories of uh that concerns osinachi i'll put it in a playlist right so that you can see all of them at a glance so let me know your comments in the comment section these are the punches you know these are the holes in um in uh, uh nature's uh, defense i watched the service yesterday i'm going to drop a video on that very soon so thank you so much people i love you so much please go to church with your brain intact like i said i watched his video i watched his service yesterday of course somebody else sang usna she wasn't there somebody else sang but he said something that i'll do a video on <laughs> watch out for it <laughs> I'm on him because he should know better. All right. Thank you so much. Um, let me know your comment. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you again very soon. Mm, I love you. Bye.